All right, let's get over to Chief Meteorologist Eddie Garcia now. Eddie, it sounds like a storm definitely on the way. Yeah. And it's going to deliver whether you're a snow lover or a rain lover, it seems. You know, it's, it's one of these warmer type of storms, Julie, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that brings with it several hazards. Number one, we're talking about visibility, but also it's the snow and the higher elevations and a lot of it. So let's get right to it here. Uh, here is a little view of the incoming storm. You can see those clouds up there at Navajo Lake. The water is calm. Uh, which means the storm has not yet arrived. We already know ahead of this storm, there will be some winter storm warnings in effect very early tomorrow morning through Friday at two in the morning. So everything you see here in pink, that is the winter storm warning. You'll notice I-25 is predominantly highlighted there. So that gives us a little bit of a clue of what's to come. Now, right now we are seeing more cloud activity and just a tiny signature of moisture now moving into far northwestern New Mexico. In some cases, this may be just very little sprinkle activity and small flurries, but we're getting that moisture on the rise in areas across southeastern New Mexico uh, from Clovis to areas like Hobbs. So this is just the very beginning of what I'm expecting as this storm evolves across our state over the next two days. We're talking tomorrow into Thursday. We will start to see some significant impacts. So we will be talking about the incoming storm and the widespread rain pinpointing exactly where you can expect the snow. And it's really kind of amazing. Just like that, we're going from warm and tranquil weather into one of the wettest storms that we've seen all season. And while much of that will be rain, meteorologist Alan Shoemaker is focusing on the high elevation snow and the travel impacts that will follow in this KOB weather team report. Winter is almost here and you're probably thinking if you want to make a snowman, you need some snow. The snowman definitely needs some snow. We should be getting some this week in especially northern New Mexico. First, let's look at a map of the average snowfall across the state. And when you look at this, you can see some of the mountain areas highlighted. If you look at the scale, receive more than 100 inches per year. So the Sangre de Cristos get nailed with a lot of snow. Valley locations, not as much. But we'll take a couple cities just for fun and put on here. And you'll see that Farmington, Albuquerque, roughly only about about eight inches per year on average the whole winter and then Santa Fe a little higher up in elevation about 28 inches but Red River saw that map that was over there Red River 156.7 inches so this is one of the areas that could also get several inches maybe even 10 or 20 inches with this storm coming up this week so speaking of the impact of the storm we'll look at it and show you that well some areas not just the mountains will get hit with some heavier snow it looks like with this storm when you look at the counties i put on there especially more colfax san miguel some of these counties that aren't all mountains will get some heavy impacts with this storm so watch if you are traveling this week especially wednesday and thursday could be the worst times Interstate 25 from Las Vegas toward Colorado can be very slippery and snow packed. Also watch out with US 550, 412 and 64. Remember the bigger impacts Wednesday and Thursday, especially in the mountains, but some lower areas in northeastern New Mexico getting hit with some big time snow this week as well.